Now, you can only be just missing one little thing. You'd be like, you're on a long sea voyage and the only thing you're missing is vitamin C. Amid his packed schedule of leading groundbreaking ventures in electric cars and space exploration, Elon Musk has surprised the scientific world with a remarkable announcement concerning the renowned Voyager spacecraft. As a self-proclaimed enthusiast of all things intellectual, Musk's latest revelation has left everyone in awe. What discoveries await us as one of the twin Voyagers continues its extraordinary journey through the mysteries of space, and how much longer can they sustain this incredible adventure into the unknown? Join us on an extraordinary interstellar adventure as we unveil Elon Musk's astonishing revelation of Voyage's newest and most recent space discovery. As a young six-year-old, Elon Musk watched in wonder as NASA launched the Voyager spacecraft into the vast unknown of space. Now, as an accomplished adult, Musk finds himself intricately linked to these legendary vessels as he oversees rocket launches from the historic Cape Canaveral site in Florida, where the Voyagers embarked on their incredible journey. Despite being over half a century old, the Voyager spacecraft still roams the depths of space, diligently fulfilling their mission. Originally designed for a mere four-year expedition, these resilient probes have defied expectations, continuously unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos and providing humanity with invaluable insights. What many may not realize is that the launch of the Voyagers relied on a rare celestial event, the alignment of the four largest planets in our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Such an alignment, akin to a cosmic dance, occurs only once every few centuries. The last time such an alignment graced the heavens was during the presidency of Thomas Jefferson in the early 19th century. This celestial alignment wasn't just a matter of chance, it played a crucial role in propelling the Voyagers on their extraordinary journey. As the spacecraft passed each massive planet, they received gravitational assists akin to being pulled along by an invisible cosmic current. These gravitational boosts acted as slingshots, propelling the probes further into the depths of space with precision and efficiency. Today, the Voyager spacecraft remains operational their instruments still sending back valuable data from the furthest reaches of our solar system. They have surpassed all expectations, exceeding their original mission duration by decades. With each passing year, they continue to rewrite the textbooks, offering new perspectives on the universe and reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Gary Flandro, a smart person at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, had a groundbreaking idea. He found a way to greatly reduce the travel time from Earth to Neptune, cutting it from a long 30 years down to just 12. This idea involves something called gravity assists, a smart technique that uses the pull of planets to move a spacecraft forward. It was a big deal, but this chance only happens once every 176 years when the planets line up just right. Yet unfrightened by how rare this event is, NASA got busy they knew they couldn't miss this one-time opportunity. So, they decided to build not one, but two identical spacecraft, known as the Voyagers. These Voyagers weren't the fancy high-tech machines you might think. Instead, they were small and strong probes about the size of an old Volkswagen Beetle. Despite being small, they were powerful. Their onboard computers were less advanced than today's smartphones, with just a tiny 69 kilobytes of memory less than what's in a car key fob. But even with their limitations, the Voyagers had top-notch technology for their time. They had eight-track tape recorders to store all the data collected during their journey through space. This data would later be sent back to Earth using a transmitter with the power equivalent to that of a refrigerator light bulb. To make sure these transmissions could reach Earth through the vastness of space, the Voyagers carried huge 12-foot-wide dish antennas these antennas were crucial for sending and receiving data, acting as the connection between the spacecraft and mission control back on Earth. Since its launch in 1977, the Voyager spacecraft has made many groundbreaking discoveries. Voyager 1, in particular, holds the record for being the farthest human-made object from Earth, billions of miles away in interstellar space. However, 
it's quite challenging to keep operating in such a harsh environment. Voyager 1 now faces extreme cold, total darkness, and dangerously high levels of radiation. Since they're too far from the sun to rely on solar power, the Voyagers use radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, for energy. Each Voyager carries three RTGs, fueled by plutonium-238. As the plutonium decays, it generates heat converted into electricity. Initially, each Voyager produced 470 watts at 30 volts DC, but over time, the power output has decreased. Nonetheless, this method remains one of the few reliable ways to power the spacecraft for decades, allowing them to continue their mission of exploring deep space. In March 1979, after traveling through space for 546 days, Voyager 1 finally arrived at Jupiter. Its companion, Voyager 2, had launched just two weeks earlier and took a different route, reaching Jupiter in July of the same year. These amazing spacecraft were built to be sturdy platforms for their cameras, which used advanced filters to take breathtaking, full-color pictures of the planets they encountered. Unlike toys that spin rapidly, the Voyagers moved slowly through space, rotating more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This deliberate motion ensured that the images they captured were sharp and clear, minimizing the risk of blurry pictures that could compromise their important mission. Voyager 1 started sending back images of Jupiter while still several months away from the gas giant. The quality and detail of these images were unmatched. One of the most surprising discoveries was the vibrant appearance of Jupiter's moon, Io. Before the Voyager's journey, scientists assumed that moons in our solar system would be similar to our own moon, dull and pockmarked. However, the Voyagers shattered this belief, revealing a stunning variety of landscapes on the moons around Jupiter and Saturn that no one had expected. In addition to their cameras, the Voyagers were equipped with powerful instruments such as the Low Energy Charged Particle LECI Detector System. While still over a million miles away from Jupiter, the LECP detected unusual signals that baffled scientists. Oxygen and sulfur ions were hitting the detector at levels never seen before, increasing by three orders of magnitude. Initially, the team suspected a malfunction, but upon closer inspection, they realized that something extraordinary was indeed occurring. Additionally, the Voyager spacecraft cameras uncovered a long-standing mystery, Jupiter's moon. Io was found to be a hub of active volcanoes. This moon, slightly larger than Earth's moon, was verified as the most volcanically active body in our solar system. Surprisingly, Io exhibited 10 times the volcanic activity of our planet, completely reshaping our understanding of volcanic phenomena. The captivating hues of Io and the peculiar ions detected by Voyager's instruments were linked to elements ejected from the moon's raging volcanoes. The largest of Io's volcanoes, appropriately named Pele, erupted in plumes reaching heights 30 times that of Mount Everest, with its debris dispersing across an area equivalent to the size of France. The Voyager spacecraft's cameras captured an astonishing array of over 33,000 images showcasing Jupiter and its moons in unprecedented detail. This visual treasure trove unearthed a multitude of previously unknown facts, reshaping our understanding of the gas giant and its celestial entourage. One of the most remarkable revelations was the existence of rings encircling Jupiter, a revelation that left scientists in awe. Among Jupiter's extensive family of 53 named moons, Europa emerged as a particularly intriguing subject of study. Its surface, marred by a labyrinth of cracked icy crust, revealed the presence of an icy layer estimated to be more than 60 miles thick. This newfound information added yet another layer of intrigue to the mystery surrounding this enigmatic moon, sparking further exploration and scientific inquiry. During their incredible journey, the two Voyager spacecraft embarked on an epic adventure reaching the majestic planet Saturn. Voyager 1, bravely delved through the grand rings encircling the planet, while also soaring past Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 set its course towards Uranus and Neptune, where it made groundbreaking discoveries. Around Uranus, Voyager 2 spotted an impressive 10 new moons, 
expanding our knowledge of this distant world. Additionally, it confirmed that Neptune, akin to Saturn, possessed its own set of rings, enriching the catalog of ringed celestial bodies in our solar system. Continuing its journey, Voyager 2 reached a point just 2980 miles above Neptune, three years later. Here, it recorded the swiftest wind ever documented in our solar system, an astonishing 1,000 miles per hour. Furthermore, Voyager 2's observations revealed that Triton, Neptune's largest moon, ranked among the coldest places in the entire solar system, with surface temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling minus 235 degrees Celsius. Despite these extreme conditions, Triton exhibited ice volcanoes, erupting nitrogen gas and powdery particles, reaching heights of up to five miles, unveiling yet another remarkable aspect of this distant world. Voyager 1's trip is famous for taking one of Earth's most well-known pictures. This important moment in space history happened because Carl Sagan, a respected astronomer, didn't give up. Even though NASA wanted to turn off the cameras on both Voyager spacecraft after taking pictures of Neptune and its moons, Sagan insisted on more photos. Instead of finishing the mission after Neptune, Sagan's influence made it. Voyager 1 point, its camera back at Earth on Valentine's Day in 1990. This choice led to taking 60 final pictures, including the famous pale blue dot image. This picture was taken from an incredible distance of 3.8 billion miles, making it the farthest picture ever taken of our planet. In the photo, Earth looks like just a tiny dot, hardly visible because of sunlight reflecting off the camera. Today, both Voyager probes stay in touch with the control center, but they're slowly moving away at a rate of three to four light seconds every day. Scientists talk to them using NASA's Deep Space Network, which has three tracking centers placed around Earth. Interestingly, both Voyager probes have gone past the heliopause, the boundary of our solar system. Voyager 1 passed this boundary in August 2012, followed by its twin more than six years later. In recent times, the Voyager missions, known for their ability to surprise, have puzzled NASA with strange data. Particularly, Voyager 1 has been sending signals that differ from what its control system, known as the double ACS, expects. This system is important for managing the spacecraft's position and maneuvers, like pointing its high-gain antenna toward Earth. NASA scientists are confused by this unusual data, unsure if it's accurate or just random noise. Despite being old, Voyager 1 has been a dependable tool for NASA, always doing its job. Voyager 1, a strong part of NASA's exploration efforts, has surprised again. Despite its old age, this brave spacecraft continues to serve well. Voyager 1, a symbol of humanity's curiosity and creativity, continues to surprise and confuse. The signals sent by Voyager 1 no longer match the patterns expected by its control system, the double ACS, leaving scientists puzzled and interested. The team is closely monitoring some confusing signals, working hard to figure out if the incorrect data is coming from the spacecraft itself or from another system involved in sending telemetry data. In a surprising twist, even Elon Musk's SpaceX has offered to help by potentially fixing the issue with a software update. This isn't the first time the Voyager missions have faced challenges. In 2017, Voyager 1's main thrusters started showing signs of wear, but skilled engineers quickly resolved the issue by switching to backup thrusters that had worked perfectly during the mission's earlier encounters with planets. This highlights the impressive design and remarkable durability of the Voyager spacecraft. Presently, Voyager 2, a spacecraft exploring space, has only five tools that are still working, with some functions turned off to save power. To save energy, NASA turned off the warmer for the cosmic ray detector. In contrast, Voyager 1 faces an even harder situation, with only four tools still working. The magnetometer and the plasma science tool are likely to be the last two tools that NASA will turn off. These tools are inside the spacecraft's body, where they get warm from computer-generated heat. Even with all their tools turned off, 
the Voyager spacecraft will keep going through space. They will keep going long after humans are gone and might eventually reach our closest star, Proxima Centauri, in about 16,000 years. Even though they were launched over four decades ago, both spacecraft keep giving useful data to help us understand the universe. Voyager 2, launched on August 20, 1977, followed its predecessor, Voyager 1, into space. These twin spacecraft went on a big journey, exploring the outer planets of our solar system and going into space between stars. Voyager 2, with a bunch of fancy tools, has done well on its journey through space. However, over time, some of its parts have been damaged by the harsh conditions of space. Currently, only five tools are still working on Voyager 2. To make it last longer and save power, NASA decided to turn off some functions, including the warmer for the cosmic ray detector. This move, though needed, shows how clever and resourceful you need to be to manage a spacecraft that has traveled billions of miles from Earth. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 is in an even riskier situation, with only four tools still working, including the magnetometer and the plasma science tool, the spacecraft is about to go silent. These tools, tucked away inside Voyager 1's body, keep giving valuable info about the space around it. Even though the last remaining tools are about to be turned off, Voyager 1 will always be remembered as a pioneer in exploring space between stars. As both spacecraft keep going through space on their own, they inspire awe and respect. Even though no humans are with them, they act as quiet guards, showing humanity's desire to learn and understand. The scientists on Earth carefully plan their paths, pushing them forward toward the far reaches of space. The Voyager's journey is important. Their paths give us a different view of how our Milky Way galaxy is made and how it moves. As they move through space, they run into all kinds of space stuff from dust clouds to magnetic fields, giving astronomers and astrophysicists lots of helpful info. Also, the Voyager's ability to last a long time is important for understanding how time works in the universe. Even though they were launched a long time ago, these spacecraft will keep going for thousands, maybe millions of years. Their final stop, Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, is about 4.24 light years away. At their current speeds, it will take the Voyagers about 16,000 years to get there. The idea of the Voyagers eventually reaching Proxima Centauri makes us think about humanity's place in the universe. Even though we might not be around when it happens, the Voyagers will carry with them a memory of our curiosity, cleverness, and desire to explore. As they keep going through space forever, they show the universe that humans are peaceful and love to discover new things. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.